details tonight on Georgia's housing crisis. A GSU study says 19,000 homes, not apartments, homes in the metro are owned by three companies. That's nearly one in every nine houses up for rent and some entire suburban neighborhoods where corporations own it all. Channel 2's Michael Doudna is live in Paulding County. And Michael, this is important because it drives up prices for everyone. Yeah, when you're talking about tens of thousands of homes involved here, well, it can make an impact, meaning that homes that you see like this one that would originally have been a starter home about a decade or so ago are now for lease. Signs in front yards showing not a home for sale, but for rent. Atlanta has more of these types of properties than the next couple of, of metro areas combined. These properties are single-family homes owned by corporations, not people. And Atlanta is the number one location for these houses in the entire country, according to GSU professor Taylor Shelton. Just a decade or so ago, none of these companies even existed. But a recent study found that just three companies, known to customers as Progress Residential, Invitation Homes, and Main Street Renewal, own more than 19,000 homes in the metro area. The homes that most of these companies are, are buying are exactly the kind of starter homes that 15, 20, 30 years ago would have been first time home buyers. And in certain areas, these corporations can own most of the homes in a neighborhood. Take this street where every single house you see is owned by invitation homes, built to rent and not to buy, impacting the entire market as a whole. It makes it impossible to find a deal. Jordana Haig says the end result has led to higher prices as corporations have bought up much of the supply of homes, pushing up house prices while also allowing them to control the rent. That's problematic because there should be more competition to keep prices reasonable. But for others like Damar Madison, these rental homes allow folks to try out home ownership without the full commitment. You need a new roof? You call an invitation, tell them, hey, I need a new roof. So I think it just varies. I think it depends on the person. Now, while this study focused on just the top three uh, corporations that own the most property, if you actually expanded that out to the top 10, well, they own more than 30,000 homes in the metro area. And if you expand that beyond just the immediate metro, those numbers only continue to climb higher. We're live in Paulding County. Michael Doudna, WSB Tonight. I think those numbers are just shocking for so many people here tonight, Michael. Thank you. Good morning. Today is Thursday. It is March 14th, the year 2024. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. I'm sitting outside with Grayson. Grayson having a cup of coffee. They just ran around. Grayson's just up. He heard the countdown on the video. He's wanted to say, hey, everybody. And so he is there here running around on the porch. I'm sitting outside. It's beautiful. I got a little suntan. I was in Mexico. A little suntan. I think got my teeth. Yeah. My... Speaking of teeth, I have an incident. It's really something weird going on. We you know, I got those dental implants a few weeks ago. And I have this metallic taste in my mouth whenever I chew on food. Uh, and it could be because I'm chewing on my gums because I ain't got no teeth back there. Um, but I was reading up on it. I mean, literally, it just dawned on me that this, there's a weird taste in my mouth when I go to chew on food. I don't have that taste if I'm not chewing. But when I start chewing, it, my, my mouth is filled with this metallic taste that kind of coats the food. Or at least coats my taste buds with this weird taste. Um, and everything tastes the same. Unless, like I said, if I'm not chewing those, it's okay. But if I start chewing on something, I got this weird taste in my mouth. So, anyway, I just got back from Mexico. It was hot as hell. It was a, now the TV starts working. There, it, was, it's, it was a beautiful, let me turn that TV down because the first it wasn't even working very properly. Let's see if I can turn it down from here. The cable went out over here. Something. Uh, I may have to get more in there. Cut the damn thing down. Let's see if this works. I mm, don't think this is gonna work from here. It's not. Hold on. No reception. Ooh. 
Yep, it is a weird. Anyway, so I was down in Mexico for a few days. I had a wonderful time. I posted a couple of clips and videos. Just a quick little vacation to get down to the beach. I, you know, I love the beach and the water. I got on the. I, basically, I just sat, stayed, stayed, sat poolside and enjoyed the warm weather at the resort in Cancun. Ate food. Um, had plenty of drinks. Got a suntan, did a little sightseeing, and back to the real world. All right, so you'll see the videos of uh, the trip to Cancun. However, there's a company that has purchased, several companies have purchased thousands of homes in Atlanta and many cities across the United States in predominantly minority areas or lower income class, middle income to lower middle income class houses. They brought up all these houses and they rented them out. You all, if you've ever lived in a neighborhood full of rental houses or rental apartments or rental, these are slums in the making. If you are purchasing a home or looking to purchase a home or live in some of these areas, get out now. Um, these people are not going to maintain these company corporations are not known for maintaining these houses they're not known for maintaining rental property there's just too many of them and, and the corporations owning houses houses require work and maintenance and love and attention and that's the problem they're not going to get no love for these corporations so if you live in a community you know there are a ton of homes owned by rental companies I have purchased homes and they rent these corporations and rent them out. You better sell your house and run for the hills and fast. Because as these homes deteriorate over the next few years, a lot of these houses have been cheaply built over the past 20 years. They ain't put no money into these houses. You'd be hard pressed to find a brick house like this house. I built 1970s brick and metal and it's framed up and stuff. You, you, you would be hard pressed to find a home in many of these communities that would built like that in the last 20 plus years these last deck the last decade all these houses have siding on them that siding continues to warp and rot and needs to be painted and maintained and caulked and painted and maintained and medium companies are not going to do that these cheap roofs and gutters and plumbing and electrical these neighborhoods are going to become ghettos and they're not going to fix those houses because it's going to be unprofitable for them to fix these rental houses up and keep them in good condition. And let me tell you something about renters. Renters don't fix up houses. When, when rent, people rent a house, they tear it up. If you live in any of these communities where there are a large number of homes that have been sold to corp corporations have pro purchased and they own these houses, get out. And if you think about buying one, do not buy in those neighborhoods. Do not buy in any of those areas where they have purchased all these homes. Go somewhere else. Do your homework. Do your research. Find out who owns these houses. It's like the time that news program, dude. You do the same research when you're buying a home. Who owns these houses in this neighborhood? Who owns the vast majority of these homes? Are they rentals? How many have been rented out? In some cases, you might be able to get some, some information from the homeowners association. Even though in some instances I'm not a big fan of homeowners associations because I think they're a ripoff. However, I personally would not buy a home in a community owned by homeowners, homeowners by a homeowners association. I would not. Be, I don't be bothered with those people. You pay in fees, and I I wouldn't do that. But be to each his own. Out of the way I live right now, there is no homeowners association. This place is beautiful. Over here, the bathroom did the. the the vast majority of these homes are owned by homeowners. I believe we have one house on our street that a company brought and rented out. And they were very angry about that, many of the neighbors over here. And they are trying to root the, out those types of developments from coming here. If you live in a neighborhood or you think about buying a house in the neighborhood, do your research. Because I'm telling you, those areas are just slums in the making. When I first moved to Atlanta in 1989, Stone Mountain was beautiful. It was unbelievable. Soft Harrison Road, Redan Road. The schools were good. The Cab County had the best schools in the state of Georgia at that time in the late 80s. Um, the Cab County has fallen. Large sections of the Cab have really went down here because of rental 
people buying investment property and renting these houses. As the prices drop in homes, people bought those houses for cheaper renting them out. You go up Covington Highway, Median Road, now South Harrison, all rental properties back up in there, interspersed with some homeowners, homeowners. But as those areas are not what they used to look like, I remember when these houses, those subdivisions were beautiful over there. Where can you go? There are lots of places you can go where you don't have to run into this problem, but you got to do your homework. You, you might have to go into an area where you're living in an older house, but in a stable neighborhood. There's a home that just recently went up for sale in my neighborhood. It's $350,000. All day long, the houses were seven, eight hundred thousand renovated. Uh, I've shown this house to several of my friends. They all turned their nose up at it. I'd rather live in a stable neighborhood and buy the worst looking house. The house does need some work. That's why it's three fifty. I'd rather own a home and it purchase a home in an area that's stable. And now the, the, the lowest price and it needs work versus buying a new construction in the area where all my neighbors are renters. Because you already know how this disaster is going to end. Myself personally, I like older homes made of brick that last longer, have stood. These houses have been standing here for years. This house is 50 something years old. Um, renovations aren't for everyone. But based upon all these, what's going on now in these, in these neighborhoods with these houses being owned by corporations, you know they're not going to maintain these houses. I wouldn't go nowhere near there. Not only are they not going to maintain those houses, they're going to rent these houses out to anybody who can pay the rent. They don't care because they don't live there. Co companies don't give a shit about who rents these houses out. In fact, there is a neighborhood now I just saw in the news last night. The house was rented out by some rental company. It was owned by a corporation. They rented the house out to these people who turned it into a group home in this neighborhood. And the people are complaining, like, what is going on over here with this house? They rented, they, so, th listen. Y'all best are black. And the, they're mainly targeting minority neighborhoods, black neighborhoods. Why? The cost of houses are maybe cheaper. Um, they can easily buy these houses and people are not going to raise hell in these communities. Because lots of times people just don't know what's going on because they're too busy eating fried chicken wings and at the hookah joint dancing and laughing and having a good old time in Mexico and have no idea all the houses up and down the street have been sold to corporations. And their beautiful neighborhood is about to turn into a slum. It's just a matter of time. I would be very careful. I would do my homework on any house I was about to buy in any area Find out where all those companies are. Who owns those houses? You can go down to the, you can look look up tax records and see what's put your street address and you see the name of the houses and who owns it. Like LLC, you see a bunch of LLCs. Now y'all know niggas ain't putting houses in the LLCs and and that and on that and that, and that number that's a company. And you can see the same company over and over and over and over. And then they said that these companies are created up fictitious, multiple companies to buy up nineteen thousand houses in one area. That's pretty aggressive. Oh, your eye is back messed up again. Come here. Let me see. You got an infection going on there. I see. Let me see. He needs to go back. Okay. Well, um, hmm. Yeah, it's back. He must have did a bad job on that. Anyway, today is Thursday, it is March 14th. The video is a little bit late because it's already 11 o'clock and I had a, I have some workers here. Um, 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 I got a, um, look at this, I haven't paid all this money in this back messed up again. I think he scratched this on. Put some medicine in that damn eye. And here's Ginger. Come here, Ginger. Ginger's running around here. Oh, come here, Ginger. See, that's who's barking in the background over here. Ginger is barking. Hey. Hey. All righty. Anyway, do not buy those. Make sure you do your homework on these houses in the neighborhoods, y'all. If you live in that neighborhood that's filled with these the, the time bombs waiting on the side of y'all, these niggas... I would never live in a neighborhood with a ton of renters. 
especially in houses. Houses require maintenance and work. And homeowners are, will put love and intention into their houses and plant flowers. And these corporations will come out there and plant, plant no flowers and plant grass and replace yard and replace dead shrubs. They ain't doing that shit. Uh, crack driveways and you know, replacing the broke mailbox. They ain't gonna fix shit. They ain't doing, them companies are not going to do anything but collect their rent from the niggas that pay. And go and that's it. And then I bet you not I bet you it's so hard to get these companies to show up to fix shit in these ragged ass houses, broke windows, gutters falling off, gutters need cleaning. Houses require work and maintenance and them companies are not going to do it and them houses are going to deteriorate in the neighborhoods. I ten, ten years from now y'all gonna look back at the neighborhoods and say, What the fuck happened over there? Them companies didn't maintain those houses. And the houses became slum. The neighborhoods go slum. And if you got a companies only 19,000 houses in one area, okay, we got a problem. Move and fast. But yeah, y'all better run for it. And, you know, there's always this thing about black folks saying, well, we don't have enough money to move. And we did. Oh, look at this bee right here. I can see this bee hanging out over my head. It's a carpenter bee. I need to get something out of here to kill these damn carpenter bees. I got to go to Home Depot. Anyway, y'all... Do what you want to do. But the handwriting's on the walls in these black neighborhoods. They are going to become slum areas, and become very dangerous. They're already dangerous as it is. They're going to get worse. And do not move it in there. Well, you know, I got all these friends looking at everybody. You know, I have a lot of people calling me they I'm ready to buy a house because they've been sitting on the sidelines waiting for these interest rates to drop. The interest rates ain't dropped nowhere. So they're okay, I'm ready to buy. Okay. So now you're buying, but they're shopping at the lower end of the market because the interest rates are high. Sometimes you may have to stretch your little income and get someplace, take all that money that you use for smoking hookah and traveling and going places and, and get you a nicer house in a better neighborhood. And get you a nicer house in a safer neighborhood versus buying a house down in the area that you potentially could be a slum 10 years from now or five years from now. It don't take long. Them on the bad storm sweep through them neighborhoods and companies gonna look at them roofs, roofs. All it takes is a good storm to sweep through these neighborhoods and knock a bunch of roofs and shingles off them houses and the houses start leaking water and stuff and such. Trust me. I've owned a lot of houses. I never get I had that brand new home in Buckhead on an acre of land, beautiful house. A storm swept through there one night. And I never get the dogs in bed to sleep. Uh, me and Earl was in bed sleeping, dogs in bed sleeping. And I got up that morning to take the dogs out. So I got out of the bed to go to the bathroom, and I heard the dogs running downstairs. The next thing I, know, I heard them drinking water. You know, the dogs like, that. I'm like, they're drinking water out in the hallway. I said, I, I said, Earl, did you put some water outside for them? He said, no. I walked into the hallway and have to be able to <laughs> water all over the damn place. I said, what in the fuck does happen here? Water just running down the walls, running down. It was a big storm that came through. So immediately I took the dogs down. I came back in and looked. And I said, well, I got to climb up on this roof and see what the fuck going on. And I called my workers. We were renovating houses at the time. I said, hey, get over to this house. We got a problem over here. It's water leaking through this roof. They come over there. They brought the ladder. They climbed up that morning. They raced over there. Climbed up on the roof. And they said, Mr. Hampton, come look, come look, come look. You need to come sit and look. So I climb up the ladder, way up there, high, three-story house on the top of the damn roof. And a large section of the roof, blown away, gone. You can see the insulation. The roof and shingles gone. The, the, the plywood gone. Just uh, we like, okay, where the fuck it go to? We looking around. Did it blow through a yard? We looking. There's a big old section, gone. I said, okay, we got to fix this today. They said, well, you can call your insurance company. I said, fuck the insurance company. Put this shit back together again. Get them plywood, get them shingles, just get this shit. Let's get this. We ain't got time to be running around. It's about to storm again. And as I was looking around that day, that storm did a lot of damage to a lot of other houses, not just our home. It, but but um, I got my house fixed that day. I didn't have time to be calling the all state. They got to send out an adjuster. We're going to put a blue tarp on the roof and all that shit going on. I got a tarp up on this roof now. I'm trying to call in people like, okay, when y'all get on here to fix this roof? I have already got with the roofing company. I'm just waiting for them to come over to get started. Shit. Yeah, they're not going to maintain these houses. A good storm sweep through them neighborhoods. They're not going to run out there and fix all 19,000 of them houses. Some of them houses are going to sit. And then they're going to start selling those houses. Once these investors invest, these, these houses begin to deteriorate, 
Those investment companies are going to do like anything else in America. Liquidate. Sell them. And they're going to sell them at bargain basement prices. It's going to hurt the values of everybody else sitting in the mouths of it. It is a disaster. In the run. It ain't going to work out well out there. In, in, those in those areas where them companies bought them houses, it's going to be a fucking disaster. Move. Put that shit up for sale. And get the hell out now. And do not buy any of those neighborhoods. I'm telling you, it's not going to work out well. But who am I? I'm just a fool on the internet drinking cold coffee. Mm. Well, lukewarm coffee is delicious too. We'll get some more coffee in a minute. All right, today it is Thursday. It is March 14th. The year is 2024. Mm. And I got this B over here. Oh, no, damn no, 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 B. Aggressive ass B over here. Ooh, yo. All right, I'm out of here. Enjoy this beautiful day. It's going to get 80 degrees here in Atlanta. Sp spring, just a few days before spring hits. And we already ate. So it's going to be all that summer. I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of this gorgeous, beautiful Thursday. I'm out. Bye.